Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you enjoyed watching that game earlier today. Um, got me really thinking about some stuff that uh, we're going to look at really quickly here. The uh, eight home runs hit combined by both teams. I suspected that that probably was not a record, and it isn't, um, but it's kind of hard to figure out what that record would have been in 1949. My suspicion is that I would probably have to get one of those really old sporting news record books, like one for the book or something like that, to um, actually have access to that information. So you can see here, if you haven't seen this already, as we look at the box score, the Phillies and the Giants both hit four home runs each. The Giants barely held on to win seven to six in a game that was actually very exciting. And you can blame that on Clint Hartung um, not really having the best outing, giving up uh, five runs in seven point seven and two thirds innings and eleven hits. And uh, the Giants still able to win that and able to come away with it, win a dramatic game. I started to do a couple of uh, searches um, online to see what I could find, and I'll show you what I found. This is where the internet age honestly really kind of frustrates me, right? So I do one search. I find something on Quora where people have asked this question, the most home runs in MLB game. I could find this one easily. On September 14th, 1987, the uh, Blue Jays had um, 10 home runs against the Orioles, which is the record for a single team, right? Most home runs hit by both teams in a single game is 13 in 2019, combined by the Diamondbacks and the uh, Phillies. The Diamondbacks had eight, so they had as many in one game as both teams combined had in one game here. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious that, like, this is not going to be... Um, uh, this is not going to be a, uh, a record, you know, at least a modern type record. And it's probably not that much of a, uh, 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 amazing or, you know, unusual achievement. Um, I went over here to stat head next and I thought, well, I wonder if I could find something here. I mean, the spoiler alert is that you won't find it. You can go over here to team batting. You can find, uh, teams with single games matching certain criteria, but you cannot find, games in which the criteria for both teams is added together. This is one of many problems that I've had with StatHead after uh, subscribing, and it's one of the reasons why I have uh, canceled my subscription, because it's really not all that open, and it's not actually that useful. A lot of the information I can find here I can also easily find through Baseball Reference. To be honest with you, I'm thinking it would be better for me to just go through and sort of scrape the data and put it together and deal with it myself than pay for this service that doesn't really do that that well. You can't even, say, look up the worst R field single season uh, performances by single players at certain positions. It doesn't exist. The uh, thing doesn't let you do it. So there you go. Another Google search brought me over to StatMuse. Most home runs in a game combined by both teams gives me a listing of the most home runs in a game by a single team which is, again, not what I was searching for. So that is not worth it. And um, when I click over here and see why can't I see this is because they want me to pay 20 bucks a month, which is more than uh, StatHead would cost. Do not pay money to StatMuse. This is a ripoff. Next, I looked over here at uh, Wikipedia. I could see career set records, most seasons with 40-plus home runs, most seasons with 30-plus home runs, most seasons with 20 home runs, most seasons as league leader, blah, 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 all for individuals. Well, we're interested um, not in that or in season records, although this is actually interesting to look at. So the 61 Yankees used to easily be on top of that before the mid-'90s happened, and then, like, you know, the latest season usually is the season that will set the record for most home runs by a team in one season. Um, tells you kind of what's happened. Most grand slams by a player in one season. I mean, this happens so seldom that it's like, okay, doesn't really mean that much. Four home runs by an individual in one game. Um, two grand slams by a hitter in one game, and that's it. We have nothing in terms of team, unless we're looking at three grand slams by a team in one game. So, I mean, I don't know. That really wasn't that uh, helpful. I'll tell you, the thing that I would really like to do and that I probably should spend my free time doing is downloading data from Retrosheet and figuring all this stuff out myself because when I go onto these websites and look this stuff up, I can never seem to find the information that I really want. I can't find the full list, for example, of um, team records for double plays listed by team, not by individual, because our statistics are all thought of as individual. Likewise, I clearly cannot find where the um, lists are of the most home runs hit by two teams in a full ball game are all time, because nobody cares about that. Nobody's interested in that statistic. So there you have it. While we're all spending our time thinking about war and how smart we are, um, some of these statistics that some of us would find interesting tend to go to waste. Sorry to report that. I wish I had uh, more interesting stuff to talk about, but um, that's kind of the way that this one is. There's uh, no information about this, and we kind of have to go through our lives darkly um, thinking about all of the statistics and records that were once in the sporting news guides that now simply don't exist online. Wonder why that is. Talk to you later. Bye.